ವಂದೆ ಗುರುಪದ್ವಂದ ಭಕ್ತವಿಂದಸಮನ್ವಿತ ಶ್ರೀ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ವಂದೆ ನಿತ್ಯಾನಂದಸಹೋದಿತ ಶ್ರೀನಂದನಂದನ ವಂದೇ ರಾಧಿಕಾಚರಣೋದಯ ಗೋಪೀಜನ ಸಮಯುಕ್ತ ಬಿಂದಾವನೋಹರ ವಾಂಛಾಕಲ್ಪತರು ಅಶ್ಯಕೆ ಪಾಸಿಂದು ವ್ಯವಚ ಪತಿ ಪಾವನೇಭ್ಯೋ ವೈಷ್ಣವೀಭ್ಯೋ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ಮೂಕಂಕರೋತಿ ವಾಚ ಲಂಗ್ ಪಂಗುಂಗ್ ಲಂಘಯತಿ ಗಿರಿ ಯತ್ ಕಿ ಪಾತಮಹಂಗ ವಂದಿ ಪರಮಾನಂದ ಮಾಧವ ಬಿಂದಾವೈ ತುಳಸಿದೇ ವೈ ಪಿಯಾವೈ ಕೇಶವಶ್ಚ ಕೃಷ್ಣಭಕ್ತಿಪದೆ ದೇವಿ ಸತ್ವತ್ವೈ ನಮೋ ನಮಃ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರುಂಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವಿ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯೋ ಮುಧೀರ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನೆ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಕಥೋಪದೇಶ ಗೌರೀಯ ಪಾತ್ರಶ ಪ್ರಕಾಶನೆ ಚ ಸದಾನುರಕ್ತ ಗುರುಭಕ್ತಿಯುಕ್ತ ಭಕ್ತಿ ಪ್ರಮೋದಾಕ್ಷ ಜಗೋದ್ಭರಣ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ಸದಾ ಪರಿಭವಗ್ನಮಿಷ್ಟೂಹಂ ತೀರ್ಥಾಸ್ಪದ ಶಿವ ವಿರಿಂಚನು ತರಣ್ಯ ಭೀತಾತ್ಯುಹಂ ಪನುತ ಬಾಲಭವಾದಿಪೂತ ವಂದೇ ಮಹಾಪುರುಷತೆ ಚರಣಾರವಿಂದ ಯತ್ ಪಾದಪಲ್ಲವನಖಚಂದಮನಿ ಛಟಾಯ ವಿಸ್ಫುರಜೀತ ಕಿಮಿ ಗಪವಧೂಷ್ಮದರ್ಶಿ ಪೂರ್ಣಾನುರಗರ ಸಸಾಗರ ಸಾರಮೂರ್ತಿ ಸಾರಾಧಿ ಕಾಮಯಿ ಕದಾ ಕಿಂ ಕರೋಷಿ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಶ್ರೀಕೃಷ್ಣ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಪ್ರಭು ನೇತಾನಂದ ಶ್ರೀಯಾದೈತಗದಾಧರ ಶಿವ ಸದೀ ಗೌರಭಕ್ತವಿಂದ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಆಜಾನುಲಂಬಿತ ಭುಜೌ ಕನುಕಾ ಬುಧಾತ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ಕಪಿತರು ಕಮಲಾಯತಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಶಾಂಬರು ದ್ವಿಜವರು ಜುಗಧರ್ಮಪಾಲು ವಂದೇ ಜಗತ್ಪ್ರಿಯಕರು ಕರುಣಾಭತಾರು ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ನಮಿ ಗಂಗೆ ತವ ಪಾದ ಪಂಕಜ ಸುರಾಸುರೈರ್ವಂದಿತ ದಿವ್ಯರೂಪಂ ಭುಕ್ತಿ ಮುಕ್ತಿ ತದಾಸಿ ಭಾವಾನುಪೇನ್ನ ಸದಾ ನರಾನ ಗಂಗಾತರಂಗರಮಣೀಯ ಜಟಾಕಲಾಪ ಗೌರೀ ನಿರಂತರ ವಿಭುಷಿ ತ್ವಾಮ ಭಾಗ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಮನಂಗಮದಾಪಹಾರ ವಾರಾಣಸಿ ಪುರಪತಿ ಭಜ ವಿಶ್ವನಾಥ ಬಾಗೀಶಜುಷ್ವದನೆ ಲಕ್ಷ್ಮೀಜಸ್ವಕ್ಷಸಿ ಯಸ್ತಿ ಹೃದಯ ಸಂಬೀದ ಸಿಂಗಮಹಂ ಭಜಿ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹರೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ 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 ಹರೇ 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 ರಾಮ ಹರೇ ರಾಮ 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 ಹರೇ ಹರೇ ಓಯ್ ದೀನ್ ದಯಾರ್ದನಾಥ ಓಯ್ ಮಥುರಾನಾಥ 
ओय दीनदयाथ ओय मथुरानाथ कदावल कश्ये हृदय तदलोकर दयित ब्रह्मति किं कौमि अहम ओय दीनदयाथ हे मथुरानाथ कदावल कश्ये तव हृदय तदलोकर गौड़ीय गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंस जगदगुरु टोल तैशील माधवेन्दु परिपात इज द मेन पिलर अफ आर गौरी सोसाइटी इफ वी कैन नॉट रियलाइज द मीनिंग ऑफ दिस श्लोका If we cannot realize the mood of Sila Madhavendra Puripad, Papa speaking, then surely our Gauriya Bhajan is useless. We cannot do Bhajan. Sila Bhakti Shridham to Saraswati Goswami to Bhopal Paramahansa Jagat Guru Gauriya Goshti Poti told, if we are failure to realize this sloka. If we have failure to realize the sloka, avoid din dhar dhanato matharanat kadavale ka shihidam tadaluk kathram. If we have failure to realize the sloka, then surely we cannot make any progress in Gauri Bhajan. There is a foundation, Bipralam Baba. And Siman Mahaprabhu also wanted to so Bipralam Baba, maybe a little bit different. But Vipralam Baba, as in general, wanted to establish. Today is the disappearance day of Sri Ram Madhavendra Puripad. You can put question that how Sri Ram Madhavendra Puripad is the eternal parsat of Sri Man Mahaprabhu. You can put some question. You have your right. But our Guru Bhargava going to teach us. Sila Madhubandhu Puripad came here in this in this world to deliver us much earlier, before. Billa Mangal Thakur also appeared long before. But Popa speaking, Guru Bhargava speaking, still they are the eternal parsat of Gorang Mahapu. Though they are coming. Before or after, it matters little. Like Narottam Thakur coming much later, not over those Sinibasa Ji they are coming later, Prabhupada coming later. Sela Swachidanda Bhakti Mr. Thakur come came later. It's not a big issue. As and when required, Bhagwan can give instruction to the devotee, a eternal person to go and. It is. The general rules actually. Bhagwan usually they are the deputed messenger of Bhagwan. So it matters little whether they are coming before or after. How we can understand they are eternal parsat of the Goranga Mahapu. There should be some some evidence, na? So Prabhupada Bhakti Mr. Thakur Prabhupada they wanted to say. If you can find, they are going to implement the heart of Gorang Mahaprabhu. Then be sure they are eternal parsat. Sri Chaitanya Mana Vishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutam. Madhavendu Puripad came much before, but still Gorang Mahaprabhu eternally present. Sri Chaitanya Mana Vishtam Sthapitam Jena Bhutale. Madhavendu Puripad wanted to establish. You know his. Or we, I can show you, so that you can have clear idea about the all the Siddhanta Vichara Goranga Mahaprabhu everything. So Bipralam Baba initially is shown by Sri Madhavendra Puripad, and from Madhavendra Puripad, Ishar Puripad, and from Ishar Puripad, Bhagwan going to manifest this kind of lila. Though surely from Ishar Puripad. Though surely we cannot expect that from Ishwar Puri Pad he is going to get prema. No, prema is prema is a prema is the personal property of Goranga Mahapu. Many after sannyas I told that day I was speaking. K 
ki kaj sanna se more prem upon dhan. Mahapur told one day. What is the use of taking sannyas? Prem is my own property. Wanted to speak something. Goranga Mahaprabhu. So Madhavindu Puripad wanted to show us something. Wanted to show us something which is very special. Like Yukta Vairagya, like Vipralamba Baba, everything. Billamangal Thakur or Madhavandhu Puripat, they are coming late, but still, Bhaktivinoda Thakur speaking, Guru Varga speaking, that Gauranga Avatar is eternally present. Repeatedly, Popa speaking, not that only 550 years back Gauranga Mahaprabhu came here. Not that. It is not the fact. Eternally present. Gauranga Mahaprabhu eternally Gauranga Mahapu eternally present in eternal world. So, Gauranga Mahapu eternally present. Prabhupada speaking, we should not think this way. Ramchandra, Gauranga Mahapu, Krishna, Bhagavan. So, all the Baba of Gauranga Mahapu was translated into them. I mean, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, Prabhupada wanted to speak that though this golden avatar came much later, but this Golden avatar already manifested inside their heart. Inside the heart of Billamangal Thakur, inside the heart of Madhavandha Puripa. Before, externally golden avatar not coming, now coming. Follow. But still, already golden avatar manifested inside their heart. So, that is why this kind of exclu exclusive prema, this kind of exclusive prema, this kind of exclusive prema we can see, this kind of exclusive prema we can see in the life of Sila Madhavindu Prabhupada. Many Siddhanta Vichar, many, many Siddhanta Vichar I can show you. What Mahaprabhu wanted to establish here, wanted to show us, all already shown by Madhavindu Prabhupada. Madhavindu Prabhupada wanted to show us. Bipralamba Bada, Baba, exclusive bhajan mood. At the same time, Madhavandhu Puripad wanted to, wanted to avoid Patishtha all the time. Patishtha mean, Patishtha mean suicide, big problem. Patishtha mean, Madhavandhu Puripad wanted to avoid. Madhavandhu Puripad wanted to show us Yukta Vairagya, all some points I can touch, after that I can switch over to my original discussion yesterday, what I was doing. So you see, so you see, Madhavandhu Puripath, Madhavandhu Puripath was the topmost Niskinchan devotee. Why? Because he never wanted to ask anything from anybody. No question of chapati rice, nothing. Even milk without asking, even milk without asking, if somebody giving, then he can accept. Otherwise, it is written in Chaitanya, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Ajachito Bhitti Puri Nahe Upobash. Ajachito Bhitti without asking. Without asking, if somebody. Sending some milk, anything, and then take. Otherwise, he is always satisfied. Self-content. Satisfied. Namanande tipta puri by nam ananda amrita so satisfied that any body pressure like hunger, thrusty attitude, nothing going to put him in problem. It is written there. Even about Mahabhagavat, it is written. They are not feeling any thrusty attitude. They are not really hungry. They are but still they are accepting to maintain their body, not feeling. Follow. This is a nature. You can go through the symptom of Mahabhagavat in Bhagavatam. It is written already. 
So Madhavandhi Purpad, without asking, if somebody giving some gobbo, gobbo means cow milk, then can take, otherwise not. This is the nature of Madhavandhi Purpad. This is so satisfied in bhajan. So he is niskinchan. So Madhavandhi Purpad, going to show us, this is the topmost niskinchan. And that Madhavandhi Purpad, who is not even asking, water or milk for anybody, we can see that Madhavandhu Puripad was ready to accept whole responsibility of Gopal Seva. Sinadji Maharaj ki jai ho. Gopalji Maharaj, Sinad Gopal. You know it very well. You know it very well, na? Because after doing Parikram, he was taking rest at the bank of Govinda Kunda. Some boy, very nice boy, very nice boy, is coming and offering milk to Madhavandhu Puripat and asking, why you are not asking anything? Why you are not asking anything? Here, here you are, milk some, you can drink. And I can come after and take the pot back. Now I can go. I, I have to, you know, milk, you know, you know from Komata, I have to arrange milk, I can go back. I'm busy. So you can keep the pot with you. I can come later and check. But the boy not coming. But the not boy not coming. Well, Madhavandhu Puripa feeling some attraction for the boy. Same case with Gorang Mahapu. When Gorang Mahapu, small boy naked, no cloth, small boy. Mother speaking, my son, father, you go and call your elder brother. Now is the time for prasadam. And that small boy, going, a small boy, going to Adyaita Gosai assembly. Because the, in the assembly of Adyaita Gosai, they all pure devotees, they used to get, they used to get together to discuss all pure Siddhanta Vishya. And most of the time, the elder brother of Mahaprabhu, Vishwar, used to spend there. Because he is enjoying. Drunkard getting enjoyment with a drunkard. Follow. He is a nature. So he is going to take a prakita, ananda, nectarian. So Mahaprabhu, when he used to enter, he used to enter, usually Sachimata said, Go, 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 call your brother. Now, prasadam time. Gorang Mahaprabhu, naked boy, going in the assembly. Of when Mahaprabhu entering in the assembly, Atoito Gosai and all devotees there, he said, look at who is this boy? Except the magnetic attraction. Magnetic attraction, who is this boy? Atoito Gosai thinking. This way, in front of Madhavandhi Puripat, Bhagavan Sri Krishna came many times, not one time. Sometime in dream, sometime directly. So, the boy giving the milk, Madhavandhi boy drinking the milk, after that he is going to put the pot aside and waiting for the boy to come, but not coming. Almost a night, uh, night time, he is doing Harinam, uh, a little drowsy. He is going to feel some. In the meantime, that boy, Gopal, came in dream, because he is not an ordinary boy. He came in dream and speaking, for the long time I am waiting for you to accept seva. Kabe madhavashi mor kori veshevan. I am for a long time waiting. When Madhavendra Puri can come and serve me. I am there kept inside forest, Govardhan forest. There in the location, Gopal taking Madhavendra Puri in dream. In dream, Madhavendra Puri watching dream. As if Gopal catching the hand of Madhavandhi Puri, taking in the forest, here I am. You can cut all forest and discover me. I am there. And for a long time, my seva, because of the, because Muslim people was supposed to attack, so my seva put the deity here and fly. So from then onward, I am fasting, air and, you know, torrential air, scorchy, scorchy sunlight, I am feeling. So you please, you know, get me out and arrange one temple and arrange my Siva. 
So Madhavundi Puripada accordingly in the morning, according to the advice of Gopal, morning time going to call all Rajavasis going to speak the truth and the Rajavasis they are going to help Madhavundi Puripada. Uh, they are getting a cutter, everything, and cut the forest and discovered that Sinaji Gopal there. Oh, full of mud and all, you know, because for a long time there. Then all big, big Prajavasis, powerful, they are going to catch that, you know, Sinaji Maharaj. They are going to take uh, on Govardhan Hill. They are going to take. And temporarily, they used to arrange some stone here, down, up, side, path. They are temporarily. They need to make and started Gopal Seva. This way, Gopal Seva was started. And gradually, that Gopal Seva was not ordinary Seva. That Gopal Seva was not ordinary Seva. If you can see, you can go mad. So many things. All Brajavas is daily coming and making Bandara big, big kingly arrangement, majestic arrangement. All Brajavas is there, all from Mathura, all the news spread like, you know, like magic spell. All around, all big, big men coming, giving ornament, everything, golden, and all Brajavas is there, each of them going to give one, one cow, very good cow. So finally, 10,000 cow was there. That you think we cannot maintain this thing. So who can maintain ten thousand cow? Come on. And that mother who he is he is not going to you know beg him in water or milk. That mother Prabhupada was ready to accept gladly, gladly Gopal Seva and doing nice. That's mean what do you mean? Ten thousand Gomata, all big majestic. Madhavandhu Puripad. Wanted to show us same thing what Gauranga Mahapu. I mean, Gauranga Mahapu, it is the highness of Gauranga Mahapu. He wanted to show us that our Guru, same thing in Mathura also. Sonariya Bhama, hey, you cannot take bread in my, our, we are actually very low Brahman. Mahapu is what it concerned to me. And people can criticize you if, I, if you take chapati from, let them criticize. Mahajano yeno gato sapantha. Madhavindu Puripa took. So I can also take. So this way, Mahaprabhu, it is high. Mahaprabhu wanted to show us. Don't try to play your head. Don't try to play your head. If you try to play your head over Gurudev, then Popa has already told many times. Uh, my Guru, my Guru, our Guru Maharaj also told. Guru Rapur Guru Giri. Many times Gurudev told. They are going to show Guru Rapur Guru Giri. Manin, they make me Guru and they want to become Guru, my Guru. Guru Maharaj many, many times told. Prabhupada wanted to speak this thing. Many disciples, they want to play some role so that people can understand he is going to control Gurudev. He is the owner of Gurudev. He is the owner of temple. This is the nature. Then Guru Padman used to say, Prabhupada many times used to say, Guru Rapur Guru Giri. Those who are going to make me Guru, at the same time they want to become Guru, my Guru. What is this? Either you leave me, why you accept me as Guru? This is the condition. So, it is the highness of Mahaprabhu, excellent teaching, that don't try to get deviated by 0. 0.000001 millimeter. Don't get deviated. You must be in line, track, teachings of Mahaprabhu. So Madhavindu Puripad wanted to show us this Yukta Vairagya. I can feel trouble or I can feel enjoyment. This is not important. Bhakti Muttakur is going to teach us, na? Tomar shevai dukha hai yato, shauta param He is a teaching you have to learn. Oh, I can feel problem, I cannot do. But it's you have to think about the satisfaction of Guru Vaishnava, Bhagavan. That divine satisfaction. Bhakti Mataka wanted to teach us, Tomas Shebai Dukha Hayato Param. Any amount of trouble, 
any amount of trouble I need to suffer. Any, I'm ready to do for your seva. No problem. I feel happy. I feel happy. We have our practical experience. No prasadam, no water. One same day, Calcutta going, I told that we need the signature of Gurudev. No need, no need you go. That is the last date in the office. I go early in the morning without, no prasadam, no water. I go there, and the office man speaking, you need signature. I'm like, what to do? Last day. Oh my God, that is now 10, 30, 11 o'clock. I run again to my phone. Again get sign and come within 4 o'clock and submit. So you cannot even, you cannot imagine. But still I was feeling happy. No prasadam. By the order of Guru Maharaj gone to Nishinga Pali, that day I come back, they say, you can take prasadam, and I cannot take. Because you bring me to carry the prasadam, Guru Maharaj. First Guru Maharaj can take, I can take. Then you are fasting, okay, fasting. I can go to temple. I come back to temple, there is no prasadam, all finished, they clean the utensil, everything. A Guru Maharaj can take prasadam, maybe after 5 o'clock, who can say, or night time. So, no satisfaction. Come from Bindavan, no prasadam. It's usually it happens so. Only dry rice, some salt, take and go to a Purikama. Many times, not one time. Not one time I am speaking. So he said, Guru Varga going to teach us. The satisfaction should not be there. So Madhavendra Puripad going to show us this Jukta Bhairagya. So I can feel happy, I can feel trouble. It's not very important thing. For Bhagavad Seva, for Bhagavad Seva, I will have to do everything. That is the Yukta Bhairagya, what Mahaprabhu wanted to So Same thing, follow. And what about, and what about Pratishtha? If I don't touch this point, it's not good. Because same thing, Mahaprabhu, he himself, Supreme Lord, never wanted to take even, even a drop of Pratishtha. Somebody speaking, you are Narayana, but don't speak, Mahaprabhu, don't speak like that. Don't speak like that. Bonded soul, Bhagavan, where is Bhagavan? Where is I am bonded soul? Always Mahaprabhu wanted. But now, we are going to extend our leg. You worship me, wash my leg. I am Guru. Guru, sorry, Guru, cow. Guru. This way. The extending leg. All Mataji is coming. I have seen in Mathura. Extending leg. All Brajavasi Mataji is coming. And by milk and water, everything. After that, their, their hair, they are going to wash a lotus feet. You can learn it from Popat. Matajis, they cannot touch sannyasi. Even Mataji cannot give any garland to sannyasi. If at all they bring, they can put there. But you all oh, are you taking sannyasi directly. I can show you a picture. Directly taking. All women coming, giving garland. Where from they, where from they are getting this kind of teachings? Mahaprabhu teaching you? Madhavindu Baba teaching you? If I seek, you can, you can start fighting with me. I know. But I am about to speak. Because the whole teachings already distorted. We like to represent ourselves. So, Madhubindu Puripad never wanted to take even a smell of Pratishthava. Could not touch him. Same thing Mahaprabhu wanted to. Mahaprabhu wanted to teach us if any smell of Pratishtha is going to touch you, then be sure your heart is contaminated. You are unfit for Krishna Bhajan. You are not qualified for Krishna Bhajan. Mahaprabhu wanted to prove. Tinada Visanajana Tarurva Sashna Amanina Manadina Kirtaniya Sadhavi. The first and foremost qualification qualities of a devotee of Krishna. Whole world can give garland to me. I cannot accept. I can give everything to my Guru Varga. Who am I to accept? Humbleness not there. Harikatha cannot be there. If, if you think Parambhya Keshav Goswami are too tough, he cannot speak Harikatha. It's wrong. 
He is speaking very tough because he is too much stuff, too much Srinadhapi. Too much Srinadhapi there. Too much Srinadhapi there in Kesav Goswami Maharaj. That's why he can speak so heavily. Bindavan Das Chakrana, too much Srinadhapi. That's why I can take trouble to kick on my head. You are just going to interpret wrong, Siddhanta Bisha. Wrong, you are speaking. No Trinadhapi, no Harikatha, no Siddhanta Bisha can flourish. Not possible. Follow what I say. So, Madhavandhi Puripad, we can see that Gopal in, in dream came. Gopal in dream came, Gopal speaking, well, you establish my seva here, but my body is burning anyway. You have done Abhishek, very big way, but still, my body burning. Because so, so, for a long time I was in a uh, torrential rain and suffering, I was suffering, you know. So, uh, you please go and arrange, you know, Malaya Chandan, the special Chandan. One piece of Chandan, one piece of Chandan, you and me cannot buy, so costly. So costly. So you go and drink immediately and ra and apply in my body. With Kampur, you know Kampur? You know Kampur? You don't know Kampur? With Kampur, mix up and apply in my body, my body burning. Hey, you cannot send anybody. You will have to go. Annohite noy tumi chalaha tarite. Bengali, you don't know. I'm just, still I am reciting if some Bengali devotee there watching this Harikatha. Don't apply, don't engage anybody. You can go yourself. Why? Because Gopal is so mercy, merciful, wanted to take seva from Madhubandhu Purva. Wanted to see the effort of Madhubandhu He wanted to see how much trouble Madhubandhu can take from me. In this material world, what to speak about the Aprakita Jagat? Even in the material world, even in the material world, you can see when we love somebody from heart, from heart, then we are going to sacrifice our life for him or her. Even from motherland, those heroes are going to sacrifice their life because love mother. So even in this material world is uh, practical. Eh? Why not in this aprakriti? Why we cannot give our life for Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnava? That's the main question now. So Madhavandhu would be running, going to engage two of his disciples, Bengali disciple, Brahman, going to engage giving the diksha. Madhavandhu would be less interested to give diksha, but giving diksha. And engage them in seva. You can all Bhajavasi can all Bhajavasi can cooperate with you. Two Brahman from Bengal, they went there. Madhavandhu would give diksha, disciple. Well, all Rajivasi can help you in your seva cooperate. You can go on seva. I'm coming and going. Going and coming. Madhavan by coming. Long distance coming. Follow. So many cases I have no time to speak. Madhavan Puripat, you know, went to the house of Adhita Gosai. Adhita took Diksha. So many things. I have no time. Then going to Purushottam Dham. Going to Purushottam Dham. But in the way of Purushottam Dham, he was bound to go there in Baleshwar. Kira Chora Gopinath. You heard the name Kira Chora Gopinath? No? Never heard? Kira Chora Gopinath? Ah, yeah, there I went. There. There Madhavandi Puripad, dancing, singing, so many things. And almost in the evening time, over, Arthi is over. They. There was the general rule they used to offer, you know, 12 pots of kira, special kira. So Madhavan was watching all the seva and asking to devotee, those who are worshipping, what kind of seva you are doing for, Gop, for uh, Gopinath, what different kind of seva. I can also apply, I can also apply this formula for my Gopal there in Gir. So let me hear his hearing. I've been there many times. They offer, I've been there many times. They offer one plate of prasadam. They offer, one is sannyasi brahmachari, if they are very... So, 
they give me one big pot of prasadam. Big pot of prasadam, they are giving so much prasadam that we all can take. Man, we all take, man, Madhukuri we can take. Man, so much prasadam. One man cannot take. So there, Madhubandhi were asking, what else you are offering? Daytime, morning time, what? And, uh, and noon time, what you are offering? And after, afternoon time, it's called Shital book. Morning time book is Bal book, Bal book. Noon time is Raj book. Night time is called Shital book. And hey, hey, evening time, and I mean when afternoon time Bhagavan temple over. Shital book. And night time again, Kira, everything they are offering. So Madhavandhubhava took decision to offer same kind of, because with very excellent seva, so I can also apply this formula for my Gopal. I can become satisfied. So and now I'm thinking, uh, this Amrita Kali, there's a Kira, 12 pots. 12 pots of special Kira, which name is called Amrita Kali. Oh, if I could get one drop of this, if I could get one drop of this Amrita Kali Kira, then I can get the taste. I can understand the taste and accordingly I go, after that, eh? I am so greedy, I am going to think, eh? I am so greedy, chi, 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 useless, I am useless, chi, chi, chi. I am expressing, you know, I am feeling greedy to accept Kira. I have no right to stay in the temple. And immediately left and temple and sitting in the, in a village market, village market, village market and doing Harina. Only thinking, that if I could get the taste of this Kira Boga, only this, still it was impossible for Madhavandhi Bhargava to be a, why, why, why I am going to express this kind of taste? Oh, useless. It's gone. Tell, living to pay Dandava to Gopinath, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Gone. Marketplace and village market, you know, all of them. They can jackal moving around, everything is doing. And here, Gopinath giving instruction to the Pujari. Pujari close the temple and get all Kira outside eh? and going to lock the temple and going to take rest. And Gopinath came in dream. Gopinath came in dream of that Pujari. Hey, get up, get up. What happens? I keep, I keep one kira there behind my cloth. Bhagavan is very clever. Bhagavan no if Bhagavan is going to put the cloak up the kira so that he cannot see Pujari, one kira can be there. Gopina is going to steal kira for Gopina is going to steal kira for Madhavendra Bhuribhad. Simply one cloth going to put up. So he is taking all, all kira, but no information about one kira already there. Bhagavan speaking, go and open the temple and you can discover one kira and go to the marketplaces. My devotee is staying there, Madhavendra Puripat. The name also, name also, Gopina speaking the name. Madhavendra Puripat, you can go immediately. Then Pujari get up and go, okay, one kira is there. I'm going to take Kira, excuse, and beg for pardon, and open the, I close the temple, and going in the night time to market. Whose name is Madhavendra Puri? Whose name? Gopinath going to steal Kira for you. Here you are. You identify yourself and take night time, shouting. The Madhavendra Puri say, Gopinath, Still Kira for me? Yes, you are. Your name is Gopina? Your name is Madhavendra? Prepati, you are so lucky. Eh? Gopina loves you so much. Gopina still Kira for you. So going to hand over. Immediately Madhavendra Prabhupada started shedding tears like, like one fountain. Oh my God. I give trouble to I give trouble to my Prabhu. This is not Seva. I give trouble to Prabhu, Prabhu taking trouble to inform his pujari is coming here night time to. Oh my God! 
Then night time taking kira and shedding tears, taking sira and kira. After that, washing the pot and drinking and making that pot, you know, grow, you know, going to break. I'm making small pieces. And every day, putting in the cloth, every day taking one piece and taking. If taking one broken piece of that mud pot, Mother Bandhu are feeling tremendous flow of prema. Even the pot is going to break. Powder, you know, going to put in his cloth. And every day going to take one piece and put in the mouth. And immediately shedding tears, prema. That is Gopina. So Madhavandu Bhagavad thought, Madhavandu Bhagavad took decision to leave this place immediately. Because morning time, morning time, like magic, all the news can go all around. And that Gopinath still kira for him. So everybody can come and worship me, wash my leg. So it's more practical to leave this place immediately. So around before four o'clock, when nobody coming out, mandir is going to open an arati, then gone. I cannot stay here. So you see, Madhav and were gone to Purushottam Dham. They are going to say, uh, speak everything about the dream, what, uh, what kind of dream came in his life, and they all panda, even the king also was ready to help him. But Chandan, very, very costly, na? Madhav had no money, penniless. They used to help him and taking so much wet karpur and sandalwood, so heavy, you cannot move from here to there. But Madhav and the going to take, I can take, Ari Pabriva, old man, how to go up to Vrindavan? Eh? You don't know how much kilometer, from Puri to Vrindavan, uh, 2,000 kilometers. 2,000. So no idea how to carry, out of Prema, I can carry for Gopal. Of course, two men was given by the king to help him, to, and after reaching Kirachora, he wanted to take darshan and Pujari wanted to give prasada, mala, everything. And by chance in dream, even Gopal coming. Again Gopal coming. Gopal speaking, well, I am getting all your chandan, all your sandalwood, chandan and camphor, everything, all, all arrangement done. So why not you apply in this Gopinath body? Because my body... Gopal speaking, my, go, my body and Gopinath all same. Don't worry. Follow. So, he, Gopal giving order. So, from then onward, Madhavandhi Parivar wanted to discuss with Pujari. They uh, wanted to start Chandan. Follow. From then onward, 21 days continuously, Gopinath was, you know, in Gopinath body, Chandan was applied. A Chandan Yatra, we get this festival from then. Follow. So, I wanted to point out the same thing Mahaprabhu wanted to teach. By Tinadu Visanu Janu Tarabhu Sajna, Amanina Manadana Kirtanyo Sadhav. Same thing. Madhavandhu Bhribhan, more forbearing than, than tree. Humble than the blade of grass. So, same thing Mahaprabhu wanted. So, you see the case. Madhavandhu Bhribhan, Wanted to show us all Nishkin Chan Bab, at the same time Yukta Bhairagya, at the same time you see no, no smell of, no smell of Pratishtha could touch and contaminate the heart of Madhya That is the speciality of those pure devotees. That's why Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami was bound to write in Chaitanya Charitamita. Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami was bound to write in Chaitanya Charitamita. Pratishtar Shabab Ei Jaina Chahe Tarhai Vidada Nirmito. Krishna Daskovida was writing one note here in Chaitanya Chaitanya. It is the nature of Pratishtha. It is the divine nature of Pratishtha, of Prakita Pratishtha. Those who are don't like to get Pratishtha, but still Pratishtha rolling down behind them. Madhavan were gone, running away, but still Pratishtha also rolling down to touch him. So in Bengali it is written in Chaitanya Charitamrita, Pratishthar Shabhav Ei Jaina Chahe Charhai 
তার হয় বিধাতা নির্মিত ইট ইজ অ্যারেঞ্জ বাই দ্য সুপ্রিম ডিভিনিটি ভগবান ভগবান গোয়িং টু অ্যারেঞ্জ বাই হু এম আই টু টেক প্রতিষ্ঠা ইটস লাইক স্টুল অ্যান্ড ইউরিন বাট অপ্রাকৃত প্রতিষ্ঠা লাইক মাধবেন্দ্র পরিবার প্রতিষ্ঠা ইজ নট স্টুল অ্যান্ড ইউরিন নট স্টুল অ্যান্ড ইউরিন পিওর বৈষ্ণব পিওর গুরু বৈষ্ণব when they are going to accept bound pratishtha that is not stool and urine rather popa told if you are not going to honor vaishnavi pratishtha then you can fall down if you are not going to honor vaishnavi pratishtha then surely you can fall down vaishnavi pratishtha tate karanishtha tahana korile lobibe rourap you can go to hell if you are not going to honor vaishnavi pratishtha then surely you can go to hell popatro vaishnavi pratishtha mean no pratishtha can contaminate on my heart any pratishtha you are giving i can hand over to my gurudev gurudev can hand over to popat popat can hand over to bhakti mr thakur i go to baba go to the pop bhakti mr this way all pratishtha the sole responsibility the sole authority of pratishtha in nitananda balaram The original Guru Dad, you have no right to take pratishta. Pure Vishnu, you can see they never want, they never want any old sheep, any garland, nothing, nothing. They they feel pain. If somebody going to give honor to them, don't do that. Here Hari Katha is more practical. Follow. So Vishnu pratishta is very important thing. So Madhubandhu Purva wanted to teach us all vital things, the absorbing mood of Hari Bhajan. Madhubandhu Purva, if he used to see the cloud in the sky, black cloud, and he fall down on the ground. Krishna, you cannot believe it is one kind of one kind of miracle. It is written in Chaitanya. Madhubandhu Purva, if watching deep cloud in the sky, can remember the body color of Krishna and fall down. Unconscious. A routine, not a not one kind of you know story, like the case of you know Pundarik Vidyanidhi, like the case of Pundarik. Everybody thinking Pundarik Vidyanidhi uh, maintaining majestic arrangements. Oh, no devotee. Are everybody speaking? Madhavan, because Pundarik Vidyanidhi is actually uh, Vishwanu Maharaj. Vishwanu Maharaj. he coming in the form of pundarik vidhan pundarik vidhan is his cloth is like you know son in law all nice cloth all scented here is golden chain you know all a nice very costly oil in the you know our back brass so nice chewing chewing bitter leaf chewing and like majestic one pillow is there this way so everybody can think is useless a material man <laughs> not there not that when when mukundo started singing about the glories of krishna all is start aho boki yam son kal kutam jighang saya apayayat jaddapi asadhi lebhe gotim dhatru chitam tato anyam kangbadayalum saranam he eh? this way when started speaking speaking about the quality of krishna what the gun then what happens baraha piro nata bara bapu karna yo karnikaram vidyad vadakana kakupi sambhayayan tincha malam randhanu ben radar sudaya pura yana gopabindai bindarannam sapadaramanam pravishad geeta kirti immediately what happens what happens our pundarik vidyanti fall down from the bed state like kingly arrangement fall down i am going to tear up the chest all costly clothes silk clothes everything gone all here here and there all scattered fall down krishna krishna started crying so external external you know symptom is not all follow madhubandhu purva went to see black cloud going to fall down krishna 
but you cannot even imagine how possible. So this kind of absorbing bhajan mood we are learning because Prabhupada and Guru Varga, our Bhakti Mahatma, they already told, Srila Madhavandhu Puripad is the main foundation of Gauri Bhajan. Main foundation. I mean, the honor given by Gorang Mahapu. Everybody should think, everybody should think, Mad Madhavandhu Puripad is the main foundation. But actually we know, Gorang Bhagavan is all in all. Follow? So, this is the main thing. We have no time to discuss uh, so many things. So yesterday, so one thing I forget to speak. Krishnadas Kaviraj Goswami going going to pass this kind of remark. Oi din dyaar do nad mathura nad kadavala ka shahidam tadaluku kadaram doito brahma tikim karam yaham. This kind of jab, this kind of you know, this kind of pain. This is the pain of Radharani. Krishnadas Kovidas Goswami wrote here in Chaitanya Jodhamitra, actually this is the pain of Radharani. Somehow this kind of painful remark coming in the mouth of Madhavendra Puripa. It is written. It is written there. It is the painful remark of Radharani. Somehow how is appearing in the tongue of Madhavendra Puripa. You should remember how lucky we are, how lucky we are, our, our, you know, Madhavandhu Puripas is our main. So, so, you should remember that to do Hari Bhajan, Papa told, we must realize Gauriya Bhajan, Vipralamba, we must realize the meaning of this slok. If the, if, if the slok, if the slok, and the meaning there, and the Baba there, in the slok, not going to touch my heart, I cannot do Gauri Vajan, not possible. First of all, Papa told specially, this sloka can, this sloka, you know, can give you some feeling, some Baba, then you can understand what is Gauri Vajan, otherwise not. So, Madhavendra Puripad externally took one danda sannyas. I was speaking about. But be sure, Madhavendra Puripad is topmost devotee. Topmost devotee. He is, it is written, is the Kalpataru of Golokdham. Is the Kalpataru of Golokdham coming here to fulfill our desire. So, Yesterday I was speaking how, how excellent that Mahaprabhu wanted to deliver all Mayavad. Whereas, whereas, where, whereas Mahaprabhu told, I can show you in Chaitanya Chaitanya. If we are going to meet with one Mayavadi, Mahaprabhu told, with, with cloth you will have to take bath. You open Chaitanya, I can show you. If you meet with one Mayavadi, if you look at Mayavadi, you will have to take your, all your clothes, mind, everything. You will have to take. Mayavad, dekhile, hoi, Mayavad, basho, sunile, hoi, sarvanas. And Mahaprabhu told, if you are going to meet with one Mayavadi, look at Mayavadi, with cloth you will have to take bath. With cloth, you have to take bath. So contaminated. So contaminated. Mayavad is so contaminated that your Immediately you can finish everything. Big problem. But that Gauranga Mahapu, who is speaking, whenever I meet with a Mayavadi, he had to take bath along with me. When I was there in Haridwar, they invited me Harika many times. But Haridwar, I am walking down the street. But Mayavad everywhere. So I can take bath. I am going for Harikatha. I, by chance I look on Mayavad. <laughs> what do you mean? So I'm mentally I am taking bath. Apavitra, apavitra, sarvavasta gato viva jasvareta punnareka aksana sabajo. Because I have no time to take bath, I am going for Arikata. All Mayavadi all around. Eh? Even they are speaking Bhagavad Katha, but they don't believe Krishna. <laughs> they are speaking by nicely. They, they are speaking Bhagavad Katha nicely. But they are speaking Bhagavad Katha nicely, but they don't have 
they don't believe, they don't believe the eternal existence of Mayavadi. I go any sometime I meet with, I meet with such such Mayavadi, Brahman Mayavadi. If you look at them, you can see you can see that they are powerful. I mean powerful in the sense they are following some rules and regulations, austerity and penances. If you look at body, they are looking at me, I am looking at them. But I can realize, they are not bhakti, bhakti is not there, but some sort of power there, body effulgence coming, looking at me, Rambar. Or Ruddhaksha Mala, everything looking at me. Follow. Big problem. Follow. This is the condition. So, so you will have to understand how much mercy there inside the heart of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. Not that. Actually, the whole body of Mahaprabhu is mercy. We cannot say the heart of Mahaprabhu, but the whole body is mercy. Whole appearance, everything, all top to bottom is mercy. All is, I can go on discussing in South India, here, there, finally, what the reason for why Mahaprabhu coming here, how exclusive way he wanted to receive his prema, what was the secret reason, all, I think within three days we like to cover. Something, well, not possible, infinity course. So anyway, so Madhavandhi, you know, this is the condition. So Mahaprabhu was so merciful that even by the desire of that Maharashtriya Bhaman, now I remember, Maharashtriya Bhaman, one Maharashtriya, from Maharashtriya, one Brahman, he used to come to Maha, he used to stay in Varanasi, that Maharashtriya Bhaman. Follow. And Elevad, where, and Elevad, what Brahman, Mahapu, meet in the house of, uh, you know, Ballabhatta, he is separate, he is not that. He is Maharashtriya Bhaman, who invite all Mahavadi and Mahapu at the time, he had told you, no, he started. So, now, Mahaprabhu, one by one, wanted to give some, you know, some document. Mahaprabhu speaking, very humble way. Very humble way, so that they cannot feel insulted. Because they think we are Mayavadi, we are topmost. Follow, Mahaprabhu, very humble way, speaking. Mahaprabhu speaking, actually, Mahaprabhu started speaking, actually, Sankarajajo is not responsible. Sankarajajo is not responsible. He was given order by Bhagavan to come here and to preach Sarirak Bhashya, Mayavad Bhashya, very tasteful Mayavad Bhashya, so that immediately people can accept it. Immediately can accept. That's why, and Mahaprabhu, Ayya Bhagavan, as per the instruction, of uh, Bhagavan, Shankar Bhagavan came here. He wanted to hide because it was the standing instruction Bhagavan. You, ca you can hide bhakti. Pure devotion I cannot give to you, anybody. It is written in Bhagavatam. It is written. Bhagavan going to, Bhagavan is ready to give you any kind of payment you like to see. Je yathamang prapadyante tang sasebha bhajyam meham. I am ready to give everything. You have done seva, na? What do you need? Money? I don't like money. You woman, woman you need? Okay, take. All you can do. But don't ask bhakti. You're already there in Bhagavatam. Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj, speaking. Hey Rajan, Bhagavan is so clever, even he is ready to give you mukti. But, like to keep bhakti backside, retain Chaitanya Chaitanya. Nadan bhakti rakhen lukaya. Bhagavan always like to, because if, if Bhagavan is going to give bhakti, pure bhakti, then Bhagavan is sold. Bhagavan is sold, na? Are? Bhagavan is sold. Well, if Bhagavan is going to give bhakti to me, then Bhagavan naturally is sold to me. It is written. Bhagavan speaking. Eh? Aham bhakta paradhino hi asatantra ivo dijo. That's mean. If Bhagavan is going to give bhakti to me, surely he is going to sell himself to me. A big problem. So Bhagavan won't like to give bhakti. That's why in Bhagavatam you can find 
that ju that our Naraji Maharaj speaking to Yudhishthir Maharaj, that Bhagavan even ready to give mukti. Dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Even he is ready to give mukti, you need, okay, can take mukti. Any kind of mukti. Shalokko, Sajujo, Sasti, Saripo, whatever, whatever mukti, you know, take, take, take. But pure devotion I cannot give. Dadati muktim smana bhakti yogam. Bhagavan don't like to give. But if Bhagavan is going to watch, Bhagavan can discover that your heart is very, then Bhagavan cannot resist himself. He is bound to give bhakti. It's, uh, this is a nature. So, Bhagavan is so humble, Bhagavan is so humble that the humbleness of Bhagavan cannot be compared with, with all, whatever humbleness we have. Even Bhagavan speaking, to Uddhavji Maharaj, Krishna, I am running behind pure devotee. But why? Because pure devotee, when going away, then the dust particle there in air can come on my body. Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan speaking, I mean, I am always running behind a pure devotee. Why? Well, a pure devotee, when running, by air is dust particle from his lotus feet can come on whole body. I can come. Because in my body, Infinity Brahmanda staying to purify. Bhagavan speaking. Bhagavan speaking. Anu Brajami Aham. I am I am going to follow a pure devotee. Why? With this with this expectation that the dust particle from the lotus feet of devotee can come and touch on my head and body. Anu Brajami Aham Puyati Angri Renuvi. Anu Brijami Aham Puyayati Angri Renuvi. By the dust particle from the lotus feet of pure devotee, I like to purify myself. Because in my body, infinity Brahman, this is the same. So, this Bhagavan, who is so merciful, who is eternally present, but that idiot Mayavadi going to establish by Bhagavan, eternal existence is not there. Who can be a who can be a Mapo wanted to teach us. Mapo speaking, well, it is not the fault of Sankaracharya, Sankaraha, Shaksha Sankaraha. Shankaraha is Shaksha Sankaraha. Shankar Bhagavan came in the form of Sankaraja. So Sankaraja already wrote. Already wrote now. I can show you so many writings of Sankaraja. I have documents. The Sankara is always speaking about Hari Bhajan. Bhajogo Bindam, Bhajogo Bindam, Go Bindam Bhajo Muramate, Sang Prapte Sang Sannihite Kale, Nahinahi Rakshati Dunkriya Karane. Bhajogo Bindam Bhajogo. And the Sankara is giving advice. They are foolish followers. Foolish followers, they don't understand. Sankaraja is writing by the order of Bhagavan and secretly all writing. So many stotra of Krishna. Going to exchange view. I can show you. It's with Bhajo Govindam, Bhajo Govindam, Govindam, Bhajo Muramate. Even the topmost follower of Sankaracharya was the great big Pandit. Pandit, in the, according to their own calculation, if no devotion, we are not speaking Pandit. He is from Present Bangladesh, Faridpur, Madhusudan Saraswati Bhad. Follow. So big Mayavadi, even we can say after Sankarajajo, if after Sankarajajo, if he is the sole authority among, we can say this man. This man. So powerful. From Faridpur, Bengali, Bengali man. He went to Varanasi. And he wrote one big book, this, like Mahabharata. Yes, Advaita Siddhi. In the name of the book, the name of the book is Advaita Siddhi, this book. Volumes of book, Oxnick. Advaita Siddhi, book he wrote. And that Mayavadi finally got the keep of Gauranga. He came here. 
to take bath in Ganga. And after that, how and when, how possible his heart changed. Heart was totally changed. While living body, all disciples asking, all disciples and Guruji, before leaving body, you can speak some vitals, important thing. Eh? All disciples asking, Guruji going to leave body. And all disciples asking, before leaving body, you can speak some vitals, so that we can, uh, we can uh, get some rigidities. Then what he started speaking, you know. He started speaking about Krishna. Bangshi Bibuti Sokarada Navani Radabat Pitambara Doruna Bimba Vala Dharostat Purnendu Sundara Mukadara Binda Navad Krishna Param Kima Pitata Maham Najane Krishna Param Kima Pitata Maham Najane Except Krishna, I cannot find any excellent Tata. Absolute tata. That is my final. That is my final conclusion. Whole life speaking. Whole life speaking about Mayavad. Whole life speaking about Mayavad. But before living body speaking, Krishna is the topmost tata. Are you like to learn, na? You like to get the cream, na? Eh? Final conclusion. That is my final. Go and do whatever you like. Krishna is the topmost. Krishna with Bangshi playing on fluids. Eh? So many tattva there, Nova Neva, and uh, you know, he is the topmost. So, how Mahaprabhu can be here if somebody is going to establish Mayaba ma everywhere? Where not? Wherever somebody wanted to establish Mayaba Siddhanta, somebody wanted to say some, you know, some useless bhakti tattva, no symmetry, nothing, no link. Mahaprabhu wanted to protest everywhere. So, Mahaprabhu wanted to say, Sankar is not responsible. Actually, he was ordered by Bhagavan. That's why he wanted to say, actually, Mayavadi, they are speaking. This world is dream. They are speaking. The world is dream. A dream? Yes, dream. Not at all present. They are speaking. This material world, whatever visible, is all dream. Are how dream? Your body is also dream? Idiot. Foolish, they are speaking. They are speaking totally wrong Siddhanta. Mayabad Bichar, they are speaking. They are speaking if we are going to believe Shakti Tattva. Because this material world is the expression of Shakti, deformation Shakti Vikar. This material world. Not the deformation of the body of Brahma, but they like to speak Brahma. Brahma, when get deformed, a uh, Brahma taking are uh, Brahma. About Brahma, it is written, Jat Brahma niskala manantam asesha bhutam Govinda Madhi Purushanta. Brahma is niskalanka, stainless, pure tattva. How is possible that Brahma can get deformation and uh, no useless you are? Hello, they are speaking this way. So, how Mahaprabhu can be here? How Mahaprabhu can? They are speaking, they are, sp they are giving one example, so you can realize something. They are speaking, Mayabadi, one, something if you realize still you can, is good for you. Mayabadi is speaking, just like there is one rope, there is one rope in the hangar oscillating in the air, and in the, in the darkness you are going to accept this as a snack. Follow. One very fat rope is there. Follow, hanging somewhere. So from distance, you can see snack. Oh, snack. They are giving this example. They are giving this example. A snack is not there. Snack is not there, but snack, conception of, conception of snack can come and put you in, in, in trouble. You can fear, express fear. They are speaking. Many times it happens so, practically. One man in a village coming from some place, in the road he is watching one snack there. Black rope, 
there. So he is why you go to how to go? The snake there. But one man, by chance coming in lantern, by chance of some village man, hey, get the lantern to me. Uh, what? But he is one snack. He's getting the no no, it's not snack, it's rope. Oh, really? Then when the when the conception of snack is gone, then you become fearless. So Mayavadi is going to give this argument. Mayavadi speaking, this whole world is just like the rope, the rope hanging, it seems the snack is there, but snack is not there. Snack is not there. But our Gauriya Siddhanta speaking, well, snack is not there as per your conception, but snack, the existence of the snack must be there, the conception of the snack must be there, the fearful behavior of the snack must be there somewhere else, not there maybe. It is not fictitious. Follow. Our Gauriya Siddhanta speaking, well, you are speaking, it is a rope, it is not snack. But okay, maybe in your case it is fictitious, not actual. But snack must be there, no? Snack, this kind of snack must be there in the world. So how I can develop this kind of knowledge? Snack is very powerful. I can bite me, I can die. So, snack must be there. So they are speaking, this whole, whole world is just like the snack, which is not at all existing. No existence. Our Guru Bhargava saying, our Jiva Goswami Adi, well, how is possible? The conception of snack is 100% perfect. Reality of the snack cannot be avoided. It must be there. So, our, our vichar is there. Snack is not there, but snack must be there. Conception of snack. So, material world is temporary. Temporary, okay, we believe. Temporary. Mahapu world. Mahapu world, it will. Uh, the material world is temporary, okay. Not permanent. So, if you are going to exchange your bhava with some material thing, simply you are going to put you in bondage. So, why you are going to exchange bhava with the material thing? Father, mother, friend, husband, why? Because they're temporary, no? Nah? Any time they can go away. So this is the this is the this is the secret teachings of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Chaitanya one by one wanted to speak. They, then those Mayabadi under the guidance of Prakashananda Saraswati, they were bound they were bound to confess. What you are speaking, your appearance, you are speaking, whatever tattva, it's Amrita. We know it, we believe. You look like Narayan, we think 100% you are Narayan. Really so? Really so? By the association of Mahaprabhu, by the Kipa of Mahaprabhu, their heart became so clean that even they started realizing it's not a. it's, it's Bhagavan. Bhagavan. Even Chapal Gopal saw Bhagavan. Not so? Chapal Gopal saw, no? But Chapal Gula could not realize. Because he was the offender. I can discuss some point. Chapal Gopal done Aparad and to Lotus Vya Sivas Pandit. That's why he couldn't. They are like many material men. When Bhagavan appeared, when Bhagavan appeared, all market men, here, they, everybody can see Bhagavan. Follow what I say. When Bhagavan appearing here, two is going to stop. All birds and bees, all market men, everybody watching as a very tall figure, nice man going. But this is not Bhagavad Darshan. It's called general darshan. Bhagavan cannot be seen by this material sense organ. But when Bhagavan appears, he reserved this kind of right that all common men also can see him, but that darshan is not at all darshan. It is not darshan. Bhagavad darshan you can get by the power of tattvic darshan. So you see the power of Gauranga Mahaprabhu. So merciful, even our Vaishnava Sada, Mayavadi, they hate Mayavadi. Mayavadi is the topmost danger in the world. Mayavadi, Mayavadi is the topmost danger in the world of pure devotion. Topmost enemy. But still Mahaprabhu wanted to deliver them by the desire of Maharashtriya Brahman or Chandrasekhar Acharya, Chandrasekhar, you know, there. And 
there uh, another devotee, Tapan Misro, father of Gopal Bhattu Goswami. So you see, so merciful. Mayabad Mahaprabhu himself speaking, when you see Mayabad, you will have to take bath. But whereas he is going to jump into fire to, to deliver all those you know, fallen, you know, Mayabad. So merciful. And the whole Varanasi was changed. He started dancing. Whereas we know Mayabad, Mayabadi, Bhakti, they are memorizing one sloka. They are always, whenever you go in Varanasi, they are speaking this sloka. Follow? They are speaking the sloka. Vedanta Bhakkeshu Shada Ramantyam. Who is going to? Who is going to discuss Vedanta all the time, non-stop? Vedanta can give me renunciation. Renunciation, I cannot say, is detachment. Because renunciation means Bhagavan should be there, not Bhagavan. You can discharge me. What, what is the value of your detachment? What I can do? What is the utility of your detachment? Your attachment or detachment or like to you know, throw out, what is the utility? By detachment or attachment, we cannot get any scope to serve Bhagavan. Follow. If my detachment is going to contribute in Hari Bhajan, then I guess it's my practical. I can discuss this point tomorrow. So, Vedanta Bhakkish Shada Ramantyam Kopina Bantam Kalubhagya Bantam, they memorize this slogan. All they memorize, even small boy, Mayavadi. Vedanta Bhakti, who is, uh, who is uh, practicing Vedanta all the time and who is, he is so lucky, he is going to, uh, going to accept Kaupin, so lucky, one Kaupin. Vedanta Bhakti Shishadharamantyam and what is? Kaupin Bhantam, Kholu Bhagya Bhantam, Kholu Mane, Kholu Mane Nishchita Meva. Nishchita Meva is the luck, he was the topmost lucky man. But we know? Mayabad means topmost, topmost dangerous man, topmost offender. But they think detachment. <laughs> they are thinking all impersonal Brahma. Okay, I can practice Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi, Aham Brahmasmi. After that, I can become Brahma. Is it possible? Is it possible? Well, one green bird, one green bird. I see here one green bird. Suddenly, I find the green bird flying and going in a green bush. Green bush. I cannot know where the bird gone. I am searching where the bird gone. I cannot see. Because the green bush and green bird, same thing, our Guru Bhargava is speaking. Jivatma, always try to remember, don't forget. Jivatma and Paramatma, eternally present, at the same time, that existence also eternally. Not that one Jivatma can submerge in the Brahma, become Brahma. Not there. If it is so, then why it is written again? Why Brahma wanted to speak? That means you can attain Brahma power, but still your existence, you cannot lose your existence. Existence must be there. Jivatma eternally present. Bhagavan eternally present. They exist eternally. You are existing, Bhagavan is there. So, how possible? That's why Brahma wanted to teach us. It's total wrong question, wrong conception. Brahma wanted to say, what speaking? Arujya krichena param padam tataha patati adho anadri jushmat angrayo. Brahma speaking, na? You can go through Bhagavatam, 10th canto. Brahma speaking, they are taking so much trouble. They are taking so much trouble, astuity and finance and everything. By their astuity and finances, Mayavadi develops some power, though they have no bhakti. So many instant I know. So many instant. I went in Harikatha someplace from Aligarh. I need to go long distance. Long distance. One devotee, you know. Take there. There I speak Harikatha. They are speaking at the bank of uh, no, at the bank of Ganga. It's called uh, Ram Ganga. I rem remember. On branches of Ganga. A remote village. And that village one Mayavadi used to do bhajan. Mayavadi. 
Mayavadi used to do bhajan. So punctual, you cannot remember. So punctual. 2.30, 3 o'clock, you can get up. In cold water, you can take bath. Winter season or hot season. And after that, doing all, everything, and going to sit in bhajan, Mayavad. Mayavad bhajan, not speaking anything to anyone. Very limited speech. You are busy with your own. Mayavad bhajan. Bhajan I cannot say. Mayavad bichar I can say. Bhajan means seva. Whom ke? Mayavad bhajan how I can say. Bhajan, if this word is applicable only, bhajada to seva. They are not doing seva. So bhajan I cannot say. Okay, Mayavad practice I can say. So they are doing. Someday, one very important thing from his bhajan kutir, very important thing from his bhajan kutir was stolen. One story I can speak, not not you know, fictitious, practically. One very important thing. Who stolen, who knows, but it's very important thing. Then he discussed with the village man, village man and speaking, who has stolen this thing? Surely who is coming here to pay pranam to me? He has stolen. But who has stolen? Nobody speaking. Nobody speaking, I have stolen. Nobody going to confess that I have stolen. Nobody. Then finally, because without that thing is a very... He started speaking, the man, the man who has stolen, within two days snack bite can be there, he told. He openly speak. Within two or three days, who has stolen this thing, not going to give me return, surely, he can get snack bite and die. Really so? The man is stolen, snack bite there, he died. So don't think Mayavadi, because of astuity and finances, na? not bhakti. I'm not speak, speaking about bhakti. They cannot control Bhagavan. But surely, Ravan by Tapasya, Hiranyagashibu by Tapasya, they're getting some power. It's naturally. So, rules and regulations not a matter of joke. Don't think it's all useless. Not that. Has some value, <laughs> according to their own estimation. So, Mayavad Bichar was totally destroyed by the Bichar of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He wanted to establish, you know, Prema Bhakti, Bhakti, and all Prakasananda Saraswati, all his whole groups, they started dancing, Hari Bol, Hari Bol. What kind of? Gigantic success, you cannot imagine. So, today I, I am bound to stop here. Do, don't like to stop, but still I have to stop. Has some seva. So, I then they are the nath, I mathura nath, kadavala kasti hideyam tadaloka kataram dhaito brahmati king karamiham. It is the feeling of Radharani. Krishna gone to Mathura and Radharani feeling Tremendous pain cannot be here. Now, Radharani is going to speak in a very bent way. Now, I, now you are Mathuranath. Now we are going to Mathurana. There is so much affluence there. All educated lady there. They are very beautiful lady. You are getting service from there. We are coward. You know, girl. So, no speciality with us. So, this way, this way, Radharani used to speak this word to Krishna. It is one kind of, you know, teasing that you are not Mathura now. Now go on to Mathura, you forget us. But there is so much majestic arrangement. But we are poor man, we have no seva, this kind of seva, maybe you don't like, that's why you go. And all beautiful women, they are educated, we are uneducated, we are uneducated, uneducated. Radharani speaks. This is the feeling. Oh, then they are the Nath, I Mathura Nath, Kadavalaka Shehiden, Tadaloka Kataram. But I am going to die without you. Your separation is unbearable for me. This kind of feeling. This kind of feeling came in the heart of Madhavan. Vancha Kalpatur Vasya, Kipa Sindhu Bhavacha, Patitanam Pavana Bhavishna Bhyo Namun.